Now, when it comes to family SUVs and you want the, the quality and build of an Audi, yet not the price tag, then is the Skoda Kuroq the option for you? It's a 2023 car done just 17,000 miles. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the entirety of the car and deciding if that is true or not. My name is Will and you're watching ALX Specialist Cars. So the reason I say does the Skoda have the build quality of an Audi is because it is of course part of the Volkswagen Audi group. Um, so it is sort of built in the similar way. And this Skoda we have here, as I say, it's a Skoda Karok. It's got many options that don't come as standard on these cars. So it is an exceptionally good looking one at that. And Skoda have come a very, very long way. Being the more sort of recent facelifted model, you'll notice there's much more sort of modern touches to the car. And it comes with just about all the components that make up a good family SUV. Just walking around the car, you'll notice the styling upgrades. They start from the wheels. So you've got diamond cut finish contrast alloy wheels on the car. There again with the almost gloss black, but they're actually more than anthracite gray insert. So a little bit of contrast from the color and one that works very, very well. You'll then notice looking up to the top, it does have the tilt and slide panoramic roof, which is an option on these cars. It's then also got the gloss black styling pack, so that consists of things like the gloss black grille at the front, more gloss black styling around the rear, and it sort of gives it quite a stealthy look. And other features you get on the Skoda, so it comes with a lot of uh, convenient features, such as the electronically unfolding mirrors. You'll see if I unlock the car and then grab the door, they will indeed open. It's then got reverse camera with front and rear park assist. So though it is an SUV, sometimes SUVs, when you're nipping around town and whatnot, they're not easy to park, are they? Um, but with the addition of front and rear park assist, as well as the camera, it does make parking a lot, lot easier. Now, Skoda, they sort of play heritage to their rally history, and that's evident from the seats. So if you take a look inside, guys, you'll see, I would describe them as almost bucket style rally seats. They're quite sort of encapsulating in the sides of them. They've then got neck cutouts, which I do like, and I think look very, very sporty. And again, that is sort of playing tribute to the, the Skoda sort of history and heritage um, that, it, that it has in rallying, which is an interesting fact about Skodas. And of course, Skoda, um, they're very clever, so there's a lot of quirky little features on this car. It's got an ice scraper built into the fuel flap. I'll show you that shortly, it might sound a little weird, but once you've seen it, you'll think, why don't all manufacturers do that? And then just opening them up, it has also got uh, independently restricted rear windows, so you don't have to have them open. If you do have little ones, that's absolutely fine. And then you'll see the, the rear seats similar to the front, just slightly different. They've still got the diamond stitch seating, which does add to the premium feel and uh, sort of look of the vehicle. And you'll notice the panoramic roof does let a massive amount of light through as it's almost a double roof. So you've got the roof there, the roof there, with the front one being, of course, the tilt and slide. And if you don't like the roof or you don't want it open, there's a lot of sun getting in. I know that probably is not going to happen that often or at least till next year, um, but it does have an electronic privacy blind. So you can close that fully and it'll be quite blackout. Um, so you're not going to get any sun through at all. And it's almost as if it's not even there. Now, I said it was the modern, uh, more updated Skoda Kroc. So it does come with touches like the electronic boot. Push the button and you'll see it sweeps open. And to speak of the boot itself, you'll see, well, it's a massive boot and um, it's got a lot of depth to it, a lot of width. And as you'll see, you've even got little hangers on here for your shopping. That's one of the quirky little things you'll find with Skodas. Um, so just makes, makes life easier with your shopping, not rattling about in the boot. And then if you did want to fold the seats down, you can absolutely do that uh, with those little levers there. And closing the boot itself up, again, push a button. Now I mentioned the one quirky little thing, which is the, the ice scraper and one something that only Skoda seem to do and if you open the fuel flap you'll see you might have a Skoda yourself and you've always wondered what it is well that is actually what it is so it's an ice scraper uh, built into the car and when you're done with it simply slot it back in which is just quite a cool little touch and something that will of course come in handy uh, with the winter months coming very soon as a driver what do you get so you get again more sporty touches with the steering wheel being the flat bottom sport steering wheel it's a multi-function steering wheel. it's also heated the seats are then heated as well it's a push button to start the car it's got the more modern infotainment system which is all touchscreen you've got apple carplay android auto as well as your normal navigation settings and whatnot and then just as a place to be the storage space you get is tremendous there's plenty you've then got driving modes as well it is a petrol automatic this car but you can use the paddles on the back of the steering wheel 
if you do indeed prefer. But guys, that is the Skoda Croc. As I say, it's a 2023 car, so it's still got the remainder of manufacturer's warranty. It's then not due its first MOT yet either, um, so you are saving a lot of money that way. But the question is, is it as good as an Audi? Well, I've shown you around the entirety of the car, the features it's got, so I'll let you guys be the decider of that in the comments below. Um, but if this has caught your eye and you would like any more information, contact me, the team. We'll be absolutely more than happy to help. Take you out on a drive, whatever you want, we can sort. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.